So for this week's assignment, we're actually using something known as the Loon's Check Algorithm. So Loon, Hans Loon uh, from IBM, developed this algorithm back in 1950, 1954-ish, uh, to basically validate credit cards, validate cards, I'll just shorthand that. And we can prove this. We can uh, look at it and here's a valid credit card. Look, my uh, camera zoom and focus on that, don't worry. It is empty, but we're going to go ahead and use this card uh, to sort of prove uh, the Lewin algorithm. So I'm going to just write it out uh, here for a second. Four, eight, skip ahead. I got to write three, five, two, nine, eight, nine, two, six, three, zero, four, nine, four. So how does the Lewin check work? Well, one of the things that we have to do is we have to think about how we're presenting our numbers. These aren't just kind of, this isn't math, I'm not separating things by uh, commas, it's not a numerical value. It, we think about it in, at least programming, as more of a string. And so if we looked at the position of these cards, we actually start counting at zero. And that means if I keep counting up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's an eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we've laid them out uh, from zero to 15, even though there are 16 digits, I know. So what we can do with this is we can do something first known as the sum of odd places. I just counted out a bunch of numbers. Everywhere I have an odd number, I'm going to add that. Now, one of the things I do have to point out is I'm going to go right to left. I know that may not seem like a big deal when we're dealing with, uh, say, Visa. Uh, however, if we're looking at different cards like MasterCard or American Express or Discover, uh, this actually sort of matters. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to start counting from the odd, uh, from sort of my 15 slot, four plus zero plus six plus nine plus nine plus five plus seven plus eight plus seven plus eight. So all I do is I add these together. I'll just add them. So four and zero is four, but a four and a six is going to produce a 10. 10 and nine produces 19. Nine and nine, or 19 and nine, produces 28. 28, 33, 40, 48. So by adding all of these no, these odd placed numbers, I get 48. All right, simple enough. N nothing too terribly crazy going on there. But what about those even spots? I haven't done anything with those. Well, let me go ahead and just write them out first. Nine, three, uh, ugh, two, eight, two, three, four, four. Now, I purposely did not put the plus sign in between them, and there's a good reason for it. Because one of the things I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to double every number. But that's not just it. Sure, for something like 4 right here, I can double it. And that's going to be fine. Same with this one. I can double this one. However, I'm going to come back over here to this 9. When I double this number, I get an 18. Let me make that a little bit more obvious. I get an 18. I don't add the 18, however. What I do is I actually break it down and I say, well, I'm going to add 1 and I'm going to add 8. Make that 8 again. This is going to produce a 9. I know that seems odd and I'll kind of put it down here in a different color just to kind of keep it in track. I produce a 9. Well, I do the same algorithm. I double the 3. This gives me a 6. The 6 
is perfectly fine. The 6 is not a double digit, so I can just go ahead and add that to my equation. I can do the exact same thing with the 2. I double the 2, I get a 4. I add the 4. However, when I get to this 18, I double the 18, and I get a 16. Or I double the 8, and I get a 16. I do the exact same thing I did with the 9. I'm going to have to add the 1 and the 6. So 1 plus 6 equals 7. I keep going. Luckily, all three of, or all four of these numbers can get doubled without having to kind of run through that second part. So 4, 6, 8, 8. 4, 6, 8, 8. So if I take those numbers, and I'm going to move them a little up here so it's a little easier for us to see. So 9 plus 6, that produces 15. 15 plus 4, that produces 19. 19 plus 7, that's 26. 26 plus 4 equals 30. I'm trying to avoid my head, as you can imagine. Uh, 30 plus 6 equals 36. 36 plus 8 is going to equal 44. And 44 plus 8 equals 52. Okay, so why does any of this matter? I'm going to delete a few things. Now that I've taken all this math, and I'm just going to write that out. I'm going to state now that I've got the sum of odd places and the sum of even places. 52. If I take these two numbers and I add them together, I get 100. Now, the Lewin check basically says that if when I run these two sums, if I sum the odds and I sum the evens using the double approach, if the number that I get is divisible by 10, I have a valid card. Let's say, for example, I didn't have a valid card because we just, you know, yes, we proved that this is a valid card. If, however, I had changed, let's say, for example, this 4 had been a 5. Well, everything would have been completely off. My odd digits would have been 49. I would have added that together. I would have produced 101. And let me actually do this instead. I would have went 101 modulus 10. And when I checked to see if it was divisible by 0, this is not true, thus it would have been an invalid card.